Hey, hey, Ralphie boy! Do you think this is it? Oh, yeah. So let's just leave the both of them in there. I'll put this carburetor in there. The bolts are here. And it's ready to mount. But before I fire this up, there's a lot of work to be done on said snowblower, right? Alright, from the chair onto the lift. sucking tool, eh? Which works well. Kind of. Screwdriver. I had no idea there was gas in there. Unless it was the gas I put in there when I tested the unit a long time ago. Did you guys get that? Not quite, eh? But you can. Ambulance, it's probably stars. Okay, I'm going to get a clean rag and I'm just going to poke it around in there, see where we are. Hey, stop! Stop! One more time with the rag in here. Not much. There, that's going to stay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Except I have to jack it up, right? Now, I'm going to see if that uh, gas cock is any good. You know the little metal ones? Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I'm going to try something. First of all, I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Boy, that's not on there very good, is it? Let's try the other end. This is my narrowest quarter inch fuel line I've got. So now I'm going to just grab onto that and see if we can stick it into here a little bit better. Okay. Now on the other side, <coughs> some of you might know what I want. 
I'm going to disconnect the fuel shutoff line. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get the clamp off there as we speak so that there's nothing to cut my fingers with. And I'm going to try and feed this through. That might go the other way easier, eh? I'm just trying to, uh, instead of taking the shroud off, everybody knows that's kind of a penis rectumus, right? It's coming. Ouch. One band-aid job. Okay. Definitely has to be changed now. Good. Now let's get that off there. Alright, I used a piece of tie on. And I used the same little splice, quarter inch splice, and it it's almost going. And I've got the wire in there too. It's gonna go. I hope. Dirty job. I'm so close. I'm halfway there now. I could have used the tag on, I guess. Ooh, ooh. I can see it. If I can get a hold of it. Ooh. Ooh. Now, to confess, this is a cheap piece of fuel line I got with a carburetor, but it should work. Hey, Ralphie Bob! Have we got any left on this side? Barely. Good. It's longer than the other one, so... Alright, we're there. I'm just going to put a little bit of fuel in the tank. A couple of scooshes. I think it's alright, because that other fuel did not look that bad. The lid on the tank, so we don't have any contaminants in there. Shut this gas off. Now I'll install the carburetor. Now I've got the new old uh, linkage. So we'll connect that first. I think it went in the bottom hole if I remember correctly. Okay. Now we need a Phillips screwdriver. Now we've got a machine. Okay, we can test that with with a. Okay, now I'm going to cut this guy off and get a cable clamp. somewhere and they're a nice size. Dirty dog. Well I don't want to use one of my own new ones. 
I'm really pretty happy with the quality of everything that's come off this machine except the carburetor. And we need to cut it as well, right? So we're going to need, we're going to need to put everything that's on the wrong side of the bench, right? First of all, let's cut that to length. Now it's reinforced. Okay, now is this too small? A cable clamp. And we'll just find out right now. Yes, I think it's just a bit too small. I like the reds. They seem to be a nice combination of old and new. Okay, let's just put that on there like that. Hook that up. Grab it. Gas line pliers. Back that off a little bit. We're, we're there, man. Good. And then a gas clamp. Now I'm going to show you what I got. So there we have our happy little carburetor with a gas clamp on the inlet. That could come on a little tighter actually now that I look with the light. We just installed those two screws for the uh, in, uh, intake manifold and I am going to just back this off. Actually I can probably do it all in one motion. Except that splash shiny in my eye. There, there we go. I should have done that a long time ago. There we go, baby. That looks better. It might not look any different to you, but it looks different to me. Okay, let me get set up and we'll start this guy up. All right. Fuel line's hooked up, primer line's hooked up, you can see the drips from down there. Three-quarter throttle choke. It doesn't feel like there's much compression, I'm sad about that. But that could change all in one small heartbeat. So yay guys, so now we're going to babysit this thing for leaks, it's pretty level, let's bring it down just a little bit, I'm going to put just a tiny bit more fuel in there, well how much have we got? I got my uh, mechanical manual fuel gauge right here, straight down, well we've only got a half an inch of fuel, right to the hole. mess here so that we, we get an accurate leak detection and we're ready to marry the two together not today it won't be long for you guys but it's going to be a day off for me I guess some guys coming for happy hour tomorrow night I might put them to work that would be the unhappy hour so there's the there's the auger auger gearbox chute. Here is the engine with the drive and I haven't even looked underneath to see what the uh, the drive disc and the friction plate looks like yet. But we'll assemble it and then have a look. That's pretty freaking awesome, eh? One pole. Did it start on one pole? Really, really, really? I really, 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 really think it did. I really, 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 really think it did. I really, 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 Oh yeah, I checked for 
screw and took the cap off. See, that's the thing. Eh? When you get older, you got to go just a little bit slower. Wow, 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 wow. Arr, arr, nothing runs like a deer. So this was the time in the world, I'd say late 80s. I'm going to have to look that serial number up. Well, there it is right there. Okay. H. S50, I'd say 97. The second digit gives you the deck, gives you the year, but there's no decade indicator on it, on it that comes in. But 97, because it looks an awful lot about the same vintage as my JD180. Right on, baby. We got to clean up. My dear sister's coming for supper tonight. Isn't that nice? She's on course in town here. And uh, we've invited her for supper. That should be lovely. Okay, two things are happening on this little uh, five-horse Tecumseh. It's got a loose starter. See that? One of the tabs is broken. And I went to tighten up the head bolts just to 20 foot-pounds, not 16.6. And uh, I had to take the muffler off to get to off of here to get this this bolt tightened up. And interesting, I took the gasket off the muffler, and this is all I got. And if you look carefully on this side, this is all black. So it's been leaked. There's no. I thought there would be a second piece of gasket from here to here, but there isn't. So I'm just going to clean that up with a brush and get another gasket. So I got a, I got a loose and broken tab on a starter, of which on this old engine I've got a starter. So that's cool. And uh, I got to find a gasket or something, or not use a gasket on that. Either way, it'll fit flusher, flusher if I don't use a gasket right now at this point. So yeah, interesting. Thanks guys. As soon as I get this cleaned up, we'll see if she runs any better. Well, you know, the little jobs never quit. Let's just pretend this is the engine down there. The engine down there that we want to keep. And that hole right there has a bolt snapped off in it. So we got to do a little bit of easy outing and maybe threading. So yeah, we got a little work to do. This is the starters. There's the broken tab on this guy right there. And that one's okay. I do think they're going to fit, but the switch is in a different position. But first we have to do the uh, easy out removal thing. Well, let's get that, uh, see if we can get that bolt out of there now. I'll be back in a bit. Now, this engine is actually in better condition. But this engine has the strange, and I like, drive uh, pulley or drive gear coming out of the engine. It's got two drive gears coming out of the engine, right? So we're going to work on this one yet. i got to get that... I'm either going to tap that, first I will try and extrude that stud out of that blind hole, or I will re-tap it. Okay, here's the engine that we want to keep. I'm 
get rid of this, get this out of the way a bit. So right down there is a bolt, a quarter inch bolt that was supposed to be there, right? Is that hole has been had a screw put into it, kind of like a Healy coil. So it's now going to be a 5 16 I think, which is there. But the other one is a quarter inch. So this is a kind of a feces show. This one is a quarter inch. We can use him all day long. But up here, that guy has also been pulled out. So have they been tapped to 5 16 No. So I think we can do that. So now I'm going to tap that to 5 16 tap that to 5 16 We'll drill them both according to the size for a 5 16 bolt. And maybe we can still mount that uh, starter. All right. So this was the bolt and the Healy coil that came out of one of the stripped studs that hold the starter on, right? So I'm not a lover of Healy coils. They, they, this one is, is one because you can see the end post was broken off. But uh, I, I would rather go up a size and tap in a 5 16 than use that. What do you guys think? What's your thought on Healy coils? Alright, let's see if we can get this out of there. Are we getting anywhere? This is tough sledding, you guys. All right, my friends. I found out that this hole, this is this is the three holes for the uh, starter. One, two, and three. This one, the tab broke off years ago, and whoever was working on this chainsaw tightened the hell out of this one, and they tightened the heck out of this one, and they both both holes were stripped. So I did the deed. I drilled them out to 17 30 seconds, which is the uh, primary drilling depth for a 5 16 and then I threaded a 5 16 hole in each one, threaded them in five threads, and then I peened, if you can see there, and th oh, there's probably better, ch I peened four spots around each one so they wouldn't come out. So now I can use the starter on this little engine. Took more than that, but that's the gist of it. Thanks a lot. We're going to fix the broken tab on this starter. I've got it right here. It's going to, I think it's going to fit on this way. I'll measure it one more time. Right there. It's going to look like that one. And I'm just going to triple, triple check. It's two and an eighth center to center on this one. I'm ready. Let's get you guys back so you can see a little bit better. Turn you down. I don't know if you got that or not. We got to move forward on this job. Okay. Turn on the welder. You hear that buzz? That's a. That, that means it's a. Uh, AC welder, not a DC welder. They buzz that much more. Sounds like that. So, da, 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 da. Good. Now, how on earth am I going to do this? Burned a little bit of it. Now we'll get the measuring tape out and see if we got her. Two and an eighth from here to here. Perfect. And then diagonally, go from 
four, right to the half, I guess. Nope, five eighths. So four. That's going to work if I can get that welded. It's running a little hot right now, guys. I'm going to turn it, going to turn it down just a skosh. I guess that's what those marks mean on there. There we go. I just made it a skosh cooler. I don't want to burn this up. I think it's going to work. Did I turn it up or down? I turned it down. Okay, let's do the other side here now. get a wet rag. Make sure we're not cooking this thing from the inside, eh? Well, that looks pretty darn good, you guys. Okay. That's without any grinding. Got a little tiny hot on the left-hand corner there. Good. The big test. Listen to that old welder groany. It's probably just full of filing. Now, we're going to plug this into some electrical service and see if it still spins. so happy with that weld guys uh, for an AC weld that's a pretty darn good looking weld like I say I did I did burn it out a little bit on that one corner but that doesn't matter anyway I'm just gonna see if it'll pop on the motor here all right this is the starter that I just welded okay this should make it go perfect I don't need much. Alright, before we put gas in this thing, I, I mounted the tank, I mounted the switch controller. Uh, I don't have a plug in it yet. Yeah, let's see what, let's put a plug in it. Well, first of all, we'll see if it goes around and around, right? Okay, that's exactly what that's supposed to sound like. Yeah! That took a long time. <laughs> if you were to pay me for that, I'd have been fired. <laughs> 